Hello, it is 1245, which means it is time for our daily devotion. Um, today, I just wanted to start with maybe a couple of jokes. Uh, just bear with me. Um, one of my jokes is, uh, if you've seen the picture of Jesus uh, talking with the children, and he's sitting there and he's telling them a story, and he says, yeah, and then I said that I was the son of God, and then they said, no way, and he said, yeah, Yahweh, little, little sick. And another one where Jesus is sitting on a park bench talking to a man, and Jesus is intently looking at him and saying to him, no, I don't mean to, that you should follow me on Twitter. You should just follow me. All right, I'll stop now. Um, today, I was wondering with everything that we go on, I kind of cut off the top, but it does say, Dear Jesus, and it says, Amen. So I was wondering during some of this time with this pandemic, if sometimes our prayers aren't kind of like this. There's so much to ask God for. There's so much to ask God about. And that sometimes they're just, it's overwhelming. So I just wanted to share a few Bible verses with you um, about that. And they are, the first one is from Philippians. Never again will I confess lack, for my God shall supply all my need according to his riches and glory by Christ Jesus. Never again will I confess fear, for God hath not given me the spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. Never again will I confess doubt and lack of faith, for God hath dealt to every man the measure of faith. Never again will I confess weakness, for the Lord is the strength of my life, and the people that do know their God shall be strong and do exploits. Never again will I confess supremacy of Satan over my life, for greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. And never again will I confess defeat, for God always causeth me to triumph in Christ. And those are some nice things that I think that we should think about to say and do never again. The other thing I wanted to leave you with um, before I am done with my devotion is uh, something that I've used before. And I really um, like um, what this little story says. And what it's called is it's everything I need to know about life I learned from Noah's Ark. And so number one is don't miss the boat. Two, remember that we are all in this together. Plan ahead. It wasn't raining when Noah built the ark. Stay fit. When you are old, someone may ask you to do something really big. Don't listen to the critics. Just get on with the job that needs to be done. Build your future on high ground. For safety's sake, travel in pairs. Speed isn't always an advantage. The snails were on board with the cheetahs. When you're stressed, float a while. Remember, the ark was built by amateurs, the Titanic by professionals. No matter the storm, when you are with God, there, there's always a rainbow waiting. And then I would just like to end um, with a prayer. Uh, so let us pray. Heavenly Father, I release to you the burdens that I have been carrying, burdens that you never intended for me to carry. I cast all my cares upon you, all my worries, all my fears. You have told me to not be anxious about anything, but rather to bring everything to you in prayer with thankfulness. Father, calm my restless spirit, quiet my anxious heart, still my troubling thoughts with the assurance that you are in control. I let go of my grip upon the things I have been hanging on to. With open hands, I come to you. I release to your will all that I am trying to manipulate. I release to your authority all that I am trying to control. I release to your timing all that I have been striving to make happen. I thank you for your promise to sustain me, preserve me, and guard all that I have entrusted to your keeping.
Protect my heart and mind with your peace, the peace that passes all understanding. Father, may your will be done in my life, in your time, and in your way. Amen. And I'm, so I'm hoping that after I uh, did this little devotion um, and that your prayers may go from this to this, which is backwards, which says, Dear Jesus, thank you for all my blessings. Amen. God's blessing to you and have a good day. Thank you.